tiny house. Prepper. Live simple, live free. Hi everybody, Bill here from Tiny House Prepper. It's January 23rd, uh, 2016 and we are in the middle of the first major snowstorm of the winter. It's really late in the season for a big snow, for the first big snowstorm, but here it is. Uh, this is the one that a lot of people are calling Snowmageddon. It's unbelievable. We're uh, they're predicting three feet or more in the Philly area and ball, down in Baltimore. We're a bit north of that. They're expecting maybe a foot here. Um, and this is the first snowstorm that we've had since we've been in our tiny house, and I have discovered. A, a potential problem. All of our doors open out. In a normal house, doors open in. This is our storm door on the sunroom. And it opens out. You can see where I've opened it. Fortunately, there's a step down here. So, I can get six inches of snow there before it starts to become a problem. But over here, our main door opens out, and it looks like we've got close to a foot there already. I probably would not be able to get out of that door. So I'm going to have to make sure that I continue to shovel this as it gets deeper otherwise we'll be stuck inside when people say they're snowed in they usually mean they can't get out of the driveway we might mean we can't get out of the house and uh, it's only one o'clock we got almost a foot well it's about a foot here and it's supposed to snow all day so we might get 18 inches for all I know So, now we'll be able to get out of the house, at least for the next couple of hours. <laughs> this, is our, this is our trash can right here where we keep our, our wood blocks for our fireplace. Need to be able to get to that so we can keep, keep the house warm, put more wood on the fire. Hi. This is our snowy day. Um, Bill was just talking about trying to make sure we can make the door open. Um, but I also just wanted to talk about what a beautiful day it is today. Um, I'm grateful that I can go back into a warm little place. Right now it smells wonderfully of wood smoke, but I'm going to go for a walk. Um, we live in a climate that snows, and um, I actually really enjoy it, even though I know it gives my husband a lot more work. So I'm going for a walk, and I think that God did a good job when he made snow. Okay. I'm glad Bill's going to clear that for me before I have to go to church tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. I'd make a snow angel, but I'm hard to get back up again, so I guess I won't. <laughs> They've plowed the road, so I'll be on that soon. Woo! And whoop, there we go. Going to go for a beautiful walk. I love how the uh, snow just hangs on the fir trees and uh, right here are like three of my favorite trees in the whole world that I have in my yard and uh, that one right there this one is the big one man I love that tree it gives wonderful shade it gives um, shelter if it's snowing or raining and uh, anyway I'm grateful to have beautiful big trees right here on my own little teeny piece of land very peaceful and quiet here right now and uh, I know Bill's gonna have to do a lot of shoveling and I'm grateful we can go back into a nice little house that's all nice and warm with dinner cooking in the crock pot I mean in the big cast iron kettle on the fire real low heat but I'm gonna enjoy a walk alrighty
the fire going. My own little cabin in the woods. I think it looks really cool. All right. <laughs>